Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. Make YouTube channel art using GIMP, demonstrated and narrated by a young Irish chap, Dil Zerk. First of all, you got to get this thing. It's um, GIMP. I'll leave a this link in the description below. Um, a lot of my friends have asked me to do this. So what you're going to do is, and then 1192, that's the um, size for TV and smaller so, and the biggest size is the TV so I recommend using this if you want to follow along so just click that so the width 2120 and the height um, 1192 and that will be about good That that's what I use for my thumbnails I'm going to be making the thumb not the thumbnail the channel art for what you're going to do is you're going to want to get your new, to, new toolbox this is how you're going to do all the cool stuff you know you know and then you're going to go into, I think it's Reese or Dockable Dialogues, and you're going to go to Layers. That's don't don't panic. This may look scary, but I'm just I'm going to be cool and help you through it because I'm cool like that. I just put this over here. Okay, so what you want to do to start off is you're just going to pick two colors. You know, be cool. So these are your two like color thingies that you can do. So I'm just going to choose. I think for oh I got a Facebook message. Okay for Oh, Simon, he wanted green, kind of. So what I'm going to choose is a really dark shade and a really bright shade. And then I'm going to click this. This button right here. It's like a thingy, thingy, my giggy. And you're just going to drag from one side to this side. That's just like, see, it kind of blends. You can go like this to make it like, to make it really noticeable. Or you can just go like that. Or whatever you're into. You can, I think if you double click it, you can go to... Yeah, see the shape here. Let's say we go spiral, just for example. You can just spiral whatever you want. But for, I'm just going to stick to um, thingy majiggy linear because just it's whoa, not spiral, ferocious. Okay, so let's go from this side all the way to oh, wait over to here. Okay, so that's basically your background. Um, what you're going to do is I'm going to add some text. So um. Let's just say his name is O. Simon. Okay. So I'm gonna cover that up. You just click this button. You you. I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Say. Now I don't actually know the estimate what it is for the center of it. Sadly, so I'm just gonna put it right. I have a font installed. It's Amsterdam Graffiti. If you want it, um, link in the description. So, let's say if we put it in bold, and then he wanted red. You just click the, this color thing right here for um, whatever color you want. I think it was, yeah, it was red. I'm pretty sure it was red. If not, I'll change it for you. This is just a quick tutorial. And I'm going to go about 275, just because I'm cool. So, you're going to just want to put it around the center. Sadly, I don't actually know where in your planet, where you actually have to put it. But, um, yeah, so... I put that in bold and I put awesome oh, Simon because that's the actual thumbnail that I actually have to do for someone so I'll put him in the description. So um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go layer, new layer and you're just going to press ok, screw all that, just go ok. Then you're going to go this, right click, all the way down and click alpha se to selection. That just goes around this thingy right here and then you're going to want to go, I think it's select grow and then you can grow it by whatever you want the bigger the number the bigger it's gonna like make it bigger like the text behind it so I'm gonna go about let's go four let's be unique you know no wait wait, wait. if we go if we go this and then we go select grow and then let's go by four yeah no let's go by five five or six six okay so you can see that kind of went thing like weird around that I'm going to take my bucket fill tool and I'm going to go this. This brings it back to black and white basically and this just switches it around. I'm going to color this part here. See, don't panic if that happens. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to this. Wait. Whoa, I think I'm panicking. Wait. This, this. If I go layer. Merge down. Layer. Wait, if I go this. Then you go this, this. Wait, bring it underneath. Bring it on top. There we go. Layer. 
Merge down. Wait a second. I think I've been confuzzled. Okay, wait. So if I go this, okay. And I go this. This. Background. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to click on the background place and then I'm just going to do this really quickly. Just fill out, out the back, background of it. Um, well, Bami, sometimes this works like just go straight around, sometimes it just does this. I don't know if it's a bug or not. Z. If you want to um, go backward, just press CTRL Z. Let's fill in all these little spaces. I'll fix this up for him. This is just a tutorial. So, um, yeah. Oh, no, bro. It's not how you do it around here. Okay. This is really crappy. Okay, so say you've got that. You're going to go layer merge down so basically this makes it all the photo into one then you're gonna go see the way this kind of like thing you're gonna go select none and then that kind of just puts down and that will basically around put if you put that on as your channel art that this little square right here should be around the right size of like that should basically work and if it doesn't just make the text a bit smaller you know just mess around with it Social media traffic for tips and strategies, get free instant access, go now to my website, imsocialmediatraffic.com.